Let's talk about counting respirations. Let me break it down. One inhale and one exhale equals one respiration or one full breath. But it's not just about the number. You also want to look at the rhythm and the effort. Is it normal? Is it shallow? Is it labored? Are they breathing fast or irregular? It's important that you don't tell the patient you're counting their respirations. If they know, they might change how they breathe, which can throw off your assessment. The best time to count respirations is right after taking their pulse. Keep your fingers on their wrist and watch the chest rise and fall. The reason we count respirations is to spot early signs signs of distress, hypoxia, or any changes in their condition. You can count for 30 seconds and multiply it by two, but if their breathing is irregular, you want to count for that full minute. A normal respiratory rate for an adult is 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Let me know in the comments where you should be watching while counting respirations in an infant. Happy studying, future nurses!